This is the Infinite Flow Show. The Infinite Flow Show. The Infinite Flow Show. The Infinite Flow Show. Where hip hop, the gospel, and sports intersect. This is a Hurrich official presentation. The legendary DJ Scream the Go. Okay, DJ Swamp is on. DJ MLK. Hood, hood, rich, hood, rich, I mean, rich, we really don't get together. Unless something the really making noise in these streets. Early in the morning. So that means this movement really Early making noise in these streets. Feeling like Big Bird every morning. Adjust the decibels. Let's get it, let's get it, let's, let's get, get it. No time to waste. Let's feed the people. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. No time to waste. Wake up in the morning. Early in the morning. Early bird get the worm feeling like Big Bird every morning. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. No time to waste. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. No time to waste. Don't mind me. I'm just trying to get it in. By all means, by all means. Living life clean. Now I'm playing tennis in all my jeans. All my jeans. Motivation, dedication, daily. Taking off just like a comet. Haley, it's gonna be a hot summer, oh baby. Real deal, heat, nothing sweet like Sadie. Lesson in the making. Game is around and get taken. Way too real for the bacon. Know the fam gotta stay together, no breaking. Uh oh, got a situation. Let's make a movie live taping. I've been in the kitchen cooking up all day. Got too much sauce on my apron. Tell me how you feel right now. Tell me how you feel right now. Gotta keep it real right now. Gotta keep it real right now. I'm feeling like King out of here right now. King out of here right now. I don't wanna come down. Cause that's the way that I feel. Hey. Yo, what up, Poetics? This is your man, Illy Jam. For anybody with a passion for Jesus and making him known through music, mark it meekly. Own the responsibility to work hard, hone your craft, and create with excellence. Uh, They say time waits for no man, but speaks while it's moving. They looking for the track record, but meanwhile it's proven. I took a few L's, but all outside of the music. If you thought that it stopped me, I apologize for confusion. Uh, Consider the new sense, I'm just giving the true facts. They say he ain't worth putting faith in, but can't find where the proof of that truth. Heavy like it's set in stone, move in the mood that's set in go. Introduce new ever dressed in go. that's how veteran freshmen grow. Yeah. And I ain't got a lifetime to sit back, thinking of what it could have been if I ain't occupied a sideline. On my crime, countless years, building a legacy that won't disappear. Keep telling them as long as they're here. Before I leave, I've been making this clear. We still work. But he Psalm 127. Don't eat the bread of anxious toil. Don't fretfully self-promote. Unless the Lord builds the music dream, those who build it labor in vain. Trust God. Treasure God chiefly. Count everything as law because it's the past and worth of knowing Jesus. Peace. Mm-hmm. I'm still working. Mm-hmm. I'm clocked in. I'm still working. Mm-hmm. It's kids. This the other day. I was reminiscing about the bad times and the good times that we had. A lot of situations went left. Oh man, I ain't never going outside. Not me, no way, no how. Slept back then, but not right now. Living up north, I can't go south. But I'm always in the south, cause I was born and raised on that east side of Atlanta. Street and they caught 12. Young and wild, we was all 12. Skipping class and we all we fell. I ain't trying to say that we're cool, just thinking about how we was. Cracking up with Drake, that boy fool, man. Rest in peace to my cuz. I ain't got time to count for me, folks. I'ma stay real and that's on my foul. I'ma stay true cause that's who I am. Trim a long way from busting them scams. Yeah, working hard with my co workers. One cake is my falcon tea. Waving at my haters as I'm licking down from my balcony. Born and raised on that east side of Atlanta. Used to ride around town with Dirk Diana. Still kicking flavor, you can even tell from my grandma. 
Had to tame my life, cause I was on the way to that slam, mother, yeah, we Came a long way from back then, came a long way from back then Came a long way from back then, we came a long way from back then I remember way back when, yeah, I remember way back when Came a long way from back then then I give the fed chini Get the fed chini Then I give the fed chini Get the fed chini Then I give the fed chini Get the fed chini Then I give the fed chini Get the fed chini Then I give the fed chini Get the fed chini Then I give the fed chini Get the fed chini Then I give the fed chini Get the fed chini Then I give the fed What we doing? Make it some shape Make it some way yeah, yeah, how could I brag? Came from the rags. Yeah, yeah. First I'ma get the bag, then I'ma get the bag. Gotta go feed the block today. I need a bigger bag. Woo. Hey, what you know about having? Huh? Minus all of these fake folks, I gotta keep it real when I'm at it. Okay. Let me just put it out there that I don't even grind for myself. I don't. No. Can I please put it out there that I don't even grind for my health? No. Hey. I'm a humble little guy for real, but I'm a cruise ship to these silly folks. Legendary in this king of bitch, they gon' remember me at that Billy I'm go. Billy. Baby alone like a trench coat. I'ma speak it up, cause that's what that I want. What I, I want. ain't even capping, that's what that I want. But I they judging me, just because they don't. they don't. These people so crazy, man, now nah, all I do is just laugh at them. These people so lazy, man, no way I'm throwing my mouth at them. Can't even ask for a little seat, cause they quit to say you in Hollywood. Oh. How you gon' say I'm Hollywood? What? You ain't even been to Hollywood. Oh, Get the Fed Chini, then I give the Fed Chini. Get the Fed Chini, then I give the Fed Chini. Get the Fed Chini, then I give the Fed Chini. Get the Fed Chini, then I give the Fed Chini. Get the Fed Chini, then I give the Fed Chini. Get the Fed Chini, then I give the Fed Chini. Get the Fed Chini, then I give the Fed Chini. Get the Fed Chini, then I give the Fed Chini. Now they gon' see that we made it. Now they gon' know that we're saying it. Now they gon' know who the greatest. Look to my God for the praises. Now they gon' see that we made it. Now they gon' know they were saying it. Now they gon' know who the greatest. Look to my God for the praises. Now they gon' see who we made it. Now they gon' know who was hated. Now they gon' know who the greatest. Look to my God for the praises. Skr, skr. Hey DeAndre, hey DeAndre, what it do? Yeah, Friday catching vibes with the with the crew. Yeah, top down and I ride for the view. Yeah, trunk rattle and the speakers go boom. Yeah, first thing I'm an artist, bro, you know that I love God. I don't make them more without them. Two times for my pop up. Get it straight, it's a G thing. Feeling like I got a gold ring. Came through with the gang gang, put it on the track. Watch your body. See that we made it. Yeah. Now they gon' know that we're saying yeah. it. Now they gon' know who the greatest. Look to my God for the praises. Now they gon' see that we made it. Now they gon' know they were saved. Now they gon' know who the greatest. Look to my God for the praises. Now they gon' see that we made it. Now they gon' know they were saved. Now they gon' know who the greatest. Look to my God for the praises. Crisis is a song on my ad lib. I just go explain what my dad did. I sit in the back like a bad kid. Don't want to be seen by the masses. Ad lib, ad lib. My whole life is an ad lib. Ad lib. <laughs> That's what I said, yo. Yo. Got it so big, gotta let them know. We small like a period decimal. Cry? Yeah, so subtle, bro. Catch you walk out like a sucker punch. Like a beep, bumpy, so buckle up. And go to the flesh, better knuckle up. Walking around with my funny face. Joy is in Christ, I don't need a cake. At the end of the day, it's all fake. He fried the dough like a funnel cake. Ad lib, ad lib. My whole life is an ad lib. Pharisees talking about taxes. Why are they talking about taxes? Jesus replied like a savage. Better get Caesar that cabbage. I am so sick of the government, but I gotta respect that I'm under it. God put Preparing for Armageddon, still after still waiting for the seven. Bible in front, I'm just in the back. Don't even care, I don't have the rap. My brothers get killed all across the map. ISIS be having a phone tap. They having no choice but they're talking cold. Whole family killed when they get home. Ad lib, ad lib. They whole life is an ad lib. Ad lib, ad lib. My whole life is an ad lib. Ad lib, ad lib. My whole life is an ad lib. Ad lib, ad lib. So I add lit. My whole life is an ad lit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ad lit. 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 Ad lit.
up in tech. Hey, gotta go bathe the day. Go dunk, gotta go shake it, babe. Go, working for good to say it works, but I can't stand the fact. I can't walk in your habitat. Ooh. Make it do jump in tech. Hey, walk in your habitat. Ooh. Make it do jump in tech. Hey, we gon' make it look easy. Let me squeeze in my own life. Making it clear again. Clear. Tell them that we're the trend. I want to state the facts. facts. Pull up on CNN. Hold on. Hey. Hey. hey, ooh, I got a blast real fast. Jimmy New. Got a blast. Hey. One time for the real. Matter of fact, they give me two. We hey. Made it up the stoop. Now I'm marching with the truth. Hey. Hey. You not in the group, but I can keep you in the loop. Ooh, ta da. Ta da. In the building. Walla. 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 Make it do jump and tech. Hey. Walk in your habitat. Hey. Make it do jump and tech. Hey. Gotta go bathe the day. Go Gotta go shake and bathe. Go. Working for good to say it works, but oh, I can't yeah. stand the fact. I can't. Walk in your habitat. Yeah. Make it do jump and tech. Hey. Walk in your habitat. Hey. Make it do jump and tech. I'm tech. posting a picture, I better be getting a like. Uh. Dopamine is what I like. Yeah. Take a hit into the mind. Whoa. Notifications be blowing my phone up. I swear that I feel like I shine. Yeah. Know that I'm one of a kind. Uh. I feel like you people too kind. Yeah. But you know what's kind of funny? Uh. That famous monopoly money. Whoa. Always searching, finding nothing. Yeah. Always jealous over something. Uh. See that vacation you want, and I envy you want to be there, but I'm bumming. Uh. People they get music running. Uh. Don't need a dollar, go for me. Yeah. Promise an album was coming. Yeah. But CD baby acting like a baby, so I guess I need to change their diapers. Yeah. I'm thinking that I maybe need to switch up distribution so you get this fire. Yeah. If anybody Really with it in the movement, I can guarantee you higher. Whoa. But I promise I ain't here to make you happy. I just really wanna inspire you. When it comes to Christian, we about the mission. Yeah, yeah. Forget about your feelings, we about the realness. Whoa. In the music business, we about the business. Yeah. Lord is my witness, we about to kill it. Woo. Lord is my witness, we about to kill it. Yeah. Lord is my witness, we about to kill it. Woo. Lord. When it comes to Christian, we about the mission. Yeah. Forget about your feelings, we about the real. Yeah, spit it raw, all I needed was a minute off I ain't scared of these evil demons, I don't care if it's ten of y'all Black hoodie in a dark night, and still be the light of the world Why I live just to get wasted, nightmares are you ready to err? Hold up. Living out to get even, leave the garden to eating Then your thoughts are deceiving, trusting the idols then breathing Hold up, back to the basics, making noise like Chewbacca Ghost like Phantom of the Opera, life is real Shocking to you with no blocker, pulling a shot like Contra I got dreams, I got, I got vision, homie what you mean? Guillotine to my older minds. Kill it, triple beam. Toughen up. Even if the hits hard in the upper cuts. Get some fame. Get a double dose. We feel me. Double, 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 double up. Yeah. What up, Davis Absolute? It's a cousin from the call, Drew Beck. Oh, we got to do it for the body, yeah. Working out and meeting right ain't always easy. Looking all these, but it's not what it seems. We got the seeds internally. That's why I pray for you, you pray for me. Yo, that's so sweet. But we gon' need a little more accountability. Cause what these girls be posting, sometimes they just look like treat. Some dudes be spitting nice, ain't always living, right? And that's myself included, that's a given, right? What about those eyes? What about them hands? What about them feet? Every member of the body needs to function properly. What about my cheeks? Who helped me get a leg up in this race? My producers drop them beats. I like to think they y'all some niece. We got different gifts and lots of different personalities. Think I skipped a bit where I just give you more analogies. Only one that I leave you with. Cause the thesis is, we make up the body, but the head is just what Jesus is. Uh, I was about to leave like what a thesis is. But the beat is calling up for more. What a beat it is. Gotta tame it for it runs away. Who they call to train it? That's me, Phil J, I in they modern day. Yeah. Please take notes, this for your soul. I'm a man with many thoughts, living life on this narrow road. On this narrow road. Can you hear me though? Can you hear me though? Passion, pain, and flow. I was stuck on the other side. I realized I was hypnotized, leading with the blind. What we redefine and what we reap in time. Eyes glance at the words of life. I gotta teach the mind. Uh, God forgives and God permits. Love and grace for sinful kids. If he did it, then it's God forbid. It's a tough predicament when the ego trips. Living on the fence with no grip. Shoulder stack with chips. God forgive us. Lawyers and doctors. Students and scholars. Gangsters and mobsters. Shit. Cause we all on the hit list uh, Hard to see for making mischief Yeah We all need peace and love uh, And grace with forgiveness I spent it all On bottles and bottles of alcohol Trying to take away the pain But 
but nothing changed and I can't forgive me for all of this sin I did, all this pain I caused, all this mess I'm in, all these weapons drawn, Lord, I need you to give me forgiveness for all of this sin I did, all this pain I caused, all this mess I'm in, all these weapons drawn, Lord, I need you, please, I did, all this pain I caused, all this mess I'm in, Weapons drawn God forgives God forgives God forgives God forgives We hope you enjoyed the music mix. Now we have a gospel message by Pastor Merritt Robinson. This morning we're in Revelation chapter 10, titled The Message is The Word of God. And starting out at verse 1 of chapter 10, it states this, And I saw another mighty angel coming down from heaven, wrapped in a cloud with a rainbow over his head. His face was like the sun and his legs like pillars of fire. At this point, John is receiving another apocalyptic vision. And in this vision, he sees a mighty angel wrapped in a cloud and over his head, a rainbow. Rainbow or the rainbow speaks of the covenant of God. And then it also says his face was like the sun. Now, oftentimes individuals think that this angel is Jesus Christ, but he is not. The angel is not Jesus Christ. But it is a reference to something that is that is associated with Jesus Christ. And so if you go and look in, for example, the Gospel of Matthew, Matthew chapter 17, verse 2, there is a story about Jesus being transfigured or changed before Peter, James, and John, kind of the inner circle of the apostles. And it states this, that Jesus transfigured before them and his face shone like the sun and his clothes became dazzling white. And so this angel is not Jesus, but he is a representative of the King, Jesus Christ, and therefore has some of the characteristics of Jesus. It also goes on to say this, that his legs were like pillars of fire. Once again, another reference to God, but Old Testament reference. If you go back and look in the book of Exodus and the book of Numbers, this is what it states, that God led the nation or the children of Israel through the desert by a cloud during the day, and at night he led them by a pillar of fire. Once again, this angel is not God, but reflects the nature and the character of God. And so as a representative of God, what is he called to do? Well, oftentimes those who represent God are called to speak forth or communicate the word or will of God. So right off the bat here in Revelation chapter 10, we should be alerted to hear something that God is going to communicate at this point. At verse two, note what it says. And he held a little scroll open in his hand, setting his right foot on the sea and his left foot on the land. Now, remember earlier in the book of Revelation, God held a sealed scroll with writing on both sides. And that scroll revealed God's salvific plan for the entire world from beginning to end. This scroll is opened. And so it does not have as much writing. It is limited as far as the writing. But yet there's still something that's going to be communicated. Verse three, and he gave a great shout like a lion roaring. And when he shouted, the seven thunders sounded. And when the seven thunders had sounded, I was about to write, but I heard a voice from heaven saying, seal up what the seven thunders have said and do not write it down. And so it's apparent here that the angel spoke. There was this loud voice that was communicating something. And John was about to write it down, but John hears a voice saying, don't write it down. And so John doesn't write it down. So we have no idea what was heard or what was stated at this point. But then at verse five, it says this, 
And then the angel, whom I saw standing on the sea and the land, raised his right hand to heaven and swore by him who lives for ever and ever, who created heaven and what is in it, the earth and what is in it, the sea and what is in it. There will be no more delay. It appears now that this angel is swearing, or better yet, making a promise unto the Lord. And what is the angel promising? That there's going to be no more delay. The angel is affirming that there will be no more delay to the final judgment of God. See, at some point in time, no one knows the day, the day or the hour, but God's judgment will come. His justice will prevail. And see, from a biblical perspective, God is concerned about justice, about righteousness, about truth. See, human beings often feel that they can provide truth and justice. However, truth and justice really can only come from one, God himself, who is the creator of righteousness and justice. It is who he is. It's his character, his nature, and his essence. And so that is what comes from him. In Revelation chapter 9, the inhabitants of the earth saw others who were tormented for five months by locusts. They saw a third of humanity killed, and yet still there were individuals who would not repent. And see, it is these individuals, those who will not repent, those who will not have a change of heart or change of mind. It is these individuals who will experience the judgment and the justice of God. See, here in Revelation, we see that the ungodly do not understand what it means to be obedient. They don't understand what it means to be just. And I would say that today and this point in time, that there are individuals who do not understand obedience and submission and justice, but they will understand it when God returns. There are those who call themselves God's people. They should understand what it means to be just and righteous. They should understand what it means to conduct themselves in a manner that is worthy of the gospel so that believer and non-believer alike understand it. I think about, you know, our most recent elections and we have such a divide here in this country, in the United States between Democrats and Republicans a bit against uh, those who say they are evangelicals and those who are more liberal. There's such a divide. And so typically what you find is this, that Republicans will stand on Christian ethics. You know, they will stand against abortion and gender issues and they will affirm marriage and the family. And I think those things are right. But then we have Democrats who will stand for and focus upon social issues, education and poverty and equity. And so we have this this division between these two things. And I would say this, why can't there be an emphasis on both? Because I think both of those things are just and righteous. See, Christ was able to satisfy both equally and righteously. See, women... You think about, uh, for example, the story of the woman caught in adultery. What does Jesus tell her? Go and sin no more. What do we know about God? Did he not create both male and female? In Colossians, we see a structure for the family with parents and children and God through the Apostle Paul giving guidance in regards to how the family should be structured. And so we see things like uh, those things that are typically promoted by, for example, Republicans, the evangelical right. But socially, Jesus was concerned for the poor, the needy, and the hungry. He fed the 5,000. He healed the blind and the lame. In the book of Acts, we see the congregation concerned about the heart and the souls of those that they were proclaiming the gospel to. So that all those who came into the body of Christ, those who became part of the body of Christ, they were holding things in common, property in common, and providing for those who were in need. 
And so within the kingdom, it's not one or the other. It is both. And see, the kingdom of God is concerned holistically about all of creation and not just certain parts or aspects. And this is what I find so troubling about at this current point, the Trump administration and its policies, there seems to be concern from, for some, but not all. Well, God is concerned about all. He will bring about justice for all. He's concerned about righteousness for all. And I would say as Christians, as followers of Christ, we should be concerned about all so that we would uh, implement justice and righteousness for all. But then it goes on at verse 7. Note what the Apostle John has to say. But in the days when the seventh angel is to blow his trumpet, the mystery of God will be fulfilled as he announced to his servants, the prophets. Then the voice that I heard from heaven spoke to me again, saying, go, take the scroll that is open in the hand of the angel who is standing on the sea and on the land. So I went to the angel and told him to give me the little scroll. And he said to me, take it, eat it. It will be bitter to your stomach, but sweet as honey in your mouth. So I took the little scroll from the hand of the angel and ate it. It was sweet as honey in my mouth. But when I had eaten it, my stomach was made bitter. See, there's a warning at this point. The warning of the time of judgment. It is futuristic. There's going to be the blowing of the seventh trumpet when God's judgment will be revealed and experienced. However, before this final judgment, note what John is instructed to do. He's instructed to take and eat the scroll. He is to take the word of God and internalize it. And note, initially when he takes it down, it's going to be sweet like honey, but in the very end, it's going to be bitter. You might ask, why? Why will it be bitter? Well, because the word of God brings joy to the one who accepts it. It brings newness of life and revitalization. However, those who are unaccepting or unresponsive, it brings a sour taste to their mouths. These individuals hate the taste and the outcome it brings about. Verse 11, and then he said to me, you also must prophesy again about many peoples and nations and languages and kings. And so yet despite the sour taste that it will bring, John was required to do what? John was required to preach and he was required to preach the word, to live the word, to exhibit the word, to have his conduct reflect the word to all people so they can hear the word of God. But here's what the Bible indicates when it comes to the word of God. How are they to call on the one in whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in the one whom they have not heard? And how are they to hear without someone to proclaim him? That's what Paul stated in Romans chapter 10. See, God wants all of humanity to hear and respond to his message. He's concerned about all people. God wishes that all would be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. And so that's why he tells John, and here's John's mission. John's mission was to take in the word of God, but not just to keep it for himself, but he was to take that word and to preach it. And for some, it would be joyful. It would bring about joy and it would be sweet as honey. But for for many, they would reject the word. And for John, as he would go out and to preach the, the word of God, and as he would see individuals reject it, it would be a bitterness for him because they were rejecting God's word. And he knew based on what he had just seen in this vision that those who rejected the word of God, they would experience the judgment of God as well. And that goes for us today. As we today living out the word of God, we are called to preach the word of God. But it is sorrowful when we see individuals reject the word of God because we know what comes along with it, the judgment of God. And so I pray for those who don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, that they would come to a saving knowledge of him, 
that God would be gracious and merciful to those who have not received the word of God. But we need to warn them as well that if you don't turn from your sin and turn to righteousness, turn unto Jesus Christ, there is a judgment that's on a horizon. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you can hear through hip hop and hear this. Here it is, fresh off the presses, here to lift souls and clear all depression. Uh. Cause I know what it's like when the sun's all shining, but your soul feels night. Feels like you're caught under gloom's dark presence with a little light shining like the moon's sharp crescent. Talk about it. How many days going by when I said I was going to win and I ain't even try? I wake up at half court, the day is half gone, time left on the board is mad short. Rushing my shots, I hurry out the door, I don't pray, I don't take my worries to the Lord. How much time does it take to run the floor? Get the stopwatch, or maybe I should stop. And- Welcome to the Infinite Flow Sports segment. Today, I was trying to figure out what I was going to talk about, and there are many things that are happening right now. We've got NFL football going on. We've got the NBA happening. Uh, college basketball and college football are, it's, it's kind of finalizing. And, you know, I was thinking about covering some of the, the hot topics, you know, one of them being the UCLA basketball team and specifically the three basketball players, um, Leangelo Ball, Lonzo Ball, um, little brother Lonzo Ball is the starting point guard for the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, Leangelo is his younger brother and uh, Cody Riley and Jalen Hill, uh, three UCLA basketball players got themselves in a little bit of hot water over in China, stealing stuff um, from different stores. Um, that's already been covered. I, I don't feel like I need to cover that anymore and, and discuss it. Obviously, kids made huge mistakes, uh, but um, that's been beat to death. And so I uh, thought, well, maybe talk, you know, talk NFL and, you know, the hot topic is Colin Kaepernick, but that's, we've covered that over and over agnosium and, you know, moving on from that, you know, college football is, it's again, it's winding down. We're getting close to the point where we're going to have the four playoff teams. Um, but let me talk about NCAA basketball. Basketball is, has started and, um, this is probably one of my favorite sports, uh, college basketball. Every single week, it's excitement, especially when you start getting the big names. Uh, last week, Duke and Michigan State played, so one and two with Duke coming out on top. And so, um, looking forward to this season and especially you get to March Madness where it's crazy, unpredictable. So really looking forward to the NCAA basketball season. Today, I want to talk specifically about one program, which many of you guys have probably never heard of, but California Baptist University, California Baptist, uh, the Lancers. Um, it's a four-year private institution located out in Riverside, California. It's a Christian school. They compete at the Division II level at this current moment, but they will soon be moving to D1. So they're going to move up to the big boys and play at the division one level starting next year. So starting in fall of 2018, I have a little skin in the game because I actually work at California Baptist university as an assistant dean, but I also have a son on the basketball team. His name is Micah Robinson. So shout out to Micah. He is a Richard sophomore and he's a shooting guard on the team. Um, reason I want to talk about CBU because it kind of goes hand in hand with you know, what I like to talk about, which is, is sports and the gospel or faith. And, um, and so looking at what's happening or going to be happening for this upcoming season for CBU, um, should be an exciting season. They have a really good team. Um, they have a, a veteran team. Um, you know, they have some guys who were on the team last year that, um, ended the season, um, as one of the top teams in the nation. And they've got a little bit of youth that's been incorporated on, onto the team as well. Right now, at this current moment, they are four and O. Oh, so, a uh, good start to the season. Um, they've moved into a brand new event center. So they have a brand new arena that sit, seats about 5,500. It's a beautiful, beautiful place, beautiful arena, nice place to play. 
Um, so they've started off well and uh, the event center has gotten a, a, a good kickoff. Their very first game that they played uh, at the event center to start off the season was against Cal State Dominguez Hills, another Division II program. Um, they won that game. They followed that, that game up with another win um, against Cal, Cal State LA. And then their last two wins have been against uh, uh, Colorado Christian. And then yesterday they played UC San Diego tight, tight game. At first, UC, uh, uh, California Baptist University got out to a fairly big lead. They were up 18 to three. And then uh, UC San Diego came back. They stormed back and uh, got the game a couple of times within three points. But uh, Cal Baptist was able to pull it out and, and win the game uh, 78 to 73. So, again, looking forward to a really good season uh, for those who are in the Southern California area. Uh, go check them out. Go check out. Uh, California Baptist University, CBU, the Lancers. Um, it's in Riverside, about an hour outside of Los Angeles. For those who are in the Inland Empire, if you know what that is or where that is, um, very close to you, but still not that far for those folks who are maybe out west a little bit, bit near Los Angeles to come out and check out the games. So, um, again, looking forward to it. Um, that is it for the, for today, but signing off and, uh, God bless you. Take care.